So as some of you may know, Gabe Newell recently acquired Epic Games and he is the current acting CEO. And with this newfound power and knowledge of Battle Royale games, he decided to create one. It's awful. <laughs> it's genuinely, genuinely awful. Almost as awful as having to see my face cam in every single one of these videos. Please subscribe to me. Anyways, it's called Danger Zone and it's like an 18 versus 18 Battle Royale type game mode. And I'm not actually against how many people are in the lobbies. I think that the smaller Battle Royale lobbies kind of add a new element to, to the genre as a whole. I guess it's 16 players. I should have read more about how Gabe Newell acquired Epic Games, damn. So the way that it works is you spawn in with 16 people and the map is called Black Sight. And I'll get into the mechanics in a minute, but I'm really not a fan of this battle royale. I think conceptually it is solid, but I think that the way they went about executing the actual game mode itself just kind of fell flat. I know for a fact I'm not the only one that thinks this way, and I do also know some people that actually enjoy this battle royale and are pretty good at it. Part of the reason I don't like it is probably because I'm so bad at it, actually, but we're, we're trying out here. We're out here trying. A little fun fact as well, uh, my absence is not entirely my fault this time. I've been trying to do better and record more. My card got compromised and I, I was making a, uh, a Fiverr and a Cameo kind of hybrid video, just doing stuff on both. If you don't know what they are, that's unfortunate for you. But anyways, my, my card ended up getting compromised, so I had to call the bank and cancel it. And I'm not going to get a new card until Christmas Eve, so all my money is on lockdown. That video will have to wait. It's bittersweet though, you know, that uh, on one hand, my money's locked out. I may become homeless. On the other hand, it gives me an opportunity uh and i i think a free pass to just you know sell out a little bit before christmas staying hip with the lingo it gives me a good opportunity to uh make that bread or gain that grain there are so many of these bread puns and i can't think of anymore i actually can't anyways you know what i mean so expect a few extra sponsored videos in the next couple weeks it kind of timed out well and i promise i'm not making this up <laughs> like i genuinely don't have access to my card but I expect that now i did want this video to be my genuine first impression of the game and then my opinion on it however that didn't really end up happening because uh, the recording messed up a few times so I'm just gonna kind of go over the things that I do and don't like about this while I play it maybe get a win maybe not uh, the first thing I don't like is the drop-ins you don't like fly in like a traditional battle royale game like we're used to uh, you just kind of choose your spot on the map and you fall into it it just shows a helicopter flying over a, a clear-cut track in the background I j it's just really corny to me once you pick your location you parachute into the map which could be cool but isn't really useful I don't understand why they implemented this whole helicopter drop-in thing when you could have literally just spawned in in your area of choice i guess it somewhat allows for people to land in slightly different areas but since it shows you where everybody is landing it, it, it isn't really an effective way of diversifying the land zones they're all pretty much the same so just to get this right out in the open quickly my biggest complaint about this battle royale game is the uh the map itself and how bare it is the, there's a lot of buildings and there's a lot of is that a person oh shit that's a hostage the map itself is detailed uh and i really appreciate that however it's extremely bare when you get down to it guns in this game are next to impossible to find it feels and when you do find one you're only rewarded with like three bullets like see this there's a p2000 i have seven bullets for this right now unless i find an ammo crate this is an ammo crate you got to hold e on it to fill up and it gives you like 10 bullets before it just is empty and it, i just think that mechanically the way that you get i genuinely think that the way that you get guns in this game is just pretty whack there's also money bags that you can pick up and there is a way to actually buy things there's a buy zone in your weird ipad and you, you can pick up shit like this, but none of it's useful. Now, the map is separated into these weird honeycomb designs, and as the game progresses, they progressively get more and more red. Now, the red zones you can't go into without taking damage. It's a normal safe zone mechanic in a battle royale game, and I'm pretty sure that the area glows yellow if there's a person in it, so you can literally just run up to people. Like, I just think it kind of takes a lot of the use out of a battle royale if you can just see where everybody is. There's a guy over here. He just killed, like, 90 people. Oh, he's in his bitch right here. Ready? Here we go. There he is. He dead, baby. Let's get it. That's one. That's one and done. Oh, I actually killed that kid with fire, bro. I'm the best. It's a big fire, though. So I just bought ammo with my drone. I'm completely out. So if somebody pushes me, I'm dead right now. It's another weird mechanic in this that I don't really understand. Where the fuck's my drone? Where? Come on. Give me my... Give me the ammo! What is this? And I'm dead. Why have an iPad menu? Why have an iPad menu if you can fucking sneak around and... Oh, oh boy. CSGO, man. Oh, yeah. This asshole watched me. He watched me. I'm so salty about this, man. He listened to me reload my gun just so he could shove it in my asshole, dude. On a positive note, this game does have something that the other Battle Royale games don't. And that is you can just hit the play again button and it will instantly cue you for another game. And I think that's cool. It speeds it up. And the 16 versus 16 player cap, I also don't think is a bad thing because the games go by really 
really, really quickly. They take less time than a casual game. If you're really just coming on here to try and waste time and get better with like pistols and stuff, this is probably a good game for you to play. But if you're looking for an actual good battle royale experience, this is definitely not the way to go. Now, honestly, I'm not a super big fan of battle royale games anyways. So take everything that I say with a grain of salt. Obviously play this before you decide for yourself if you like it or not. Oh, <laughs> another thing that I totally forgot about is there's these stupid ass turrets in this game and they just shoot you if you walk by them. They're just hidden. They just, they just blast you. If you break the turret, you get a free ammo crate, but th they do more damage than they do help. So they're really not worth it. Anyways, on a side note, pretty sad to say that I do think that Fortnite is probably the most polished game, even with all the ridiculous mechanics they keep putting out, but it's still not my preferred type of game to play. So just because I don't like this doesn't mean that you won't, but I think that if you're looking for a quality, good battle royale experience, you should pursue that with something like PUBG, or if you're looking for something more cartoonish, go with like Fortnite, because honestly, this is just not something I see myself playing, and it's not something I see a lot of people keeping an interest in. Now, keeping this in mind, if they updated the game mechanics and made it a more streamlined experience, mostly for me, that would just be enabling players to get more ammo when they pick up weapons and also increasing the spawn rate of said weapons. I think that this game could actually have a decent chance at being okay. Overall, with the way that CSGO works mechanically, I just don't think that this is ever going to be a polished title. But if you're really just looking to waste some time, this might be something you could groove with. I, I don't know. Anyways, I've been bitching for like 20 minutes. I want to see if I can actually pull a win out of my ass or uh, if that's just not meant to be. How much shit is this guy ordering, man? Got him. Suck my asshole, man. All right, let's get it. Let's pick up this axe. And I'm dead. Okay, that was really fun. This is a really fun gaming experience, and I recommend it to everybody. The first time I recorded this, it did get messed up, but I honestly thought that it would be more productive to do an actual kind of review type thing on this instead of just playing it and bitching, because genuinely, the first time I played this, all I did was yell. Like, it, 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 it wasn't pretty. It really wasn't. The best way to improve this game would have been to just not make it. I kind of want to try to play more aggressively. Like, I see this guy right here. He's going to be dropping in. He's going to be looking for something as well. What if I, like... Just, I just took fall damage. That's where I dropped and I took fall damage from it. I'm actually shook. I want to know, like, if I play a little more aggressively and I, like, run up on this guy, is he going to, like, have a fist fight with me? Like, how is this going to work right here? Well, I'm going to get over to this kid. He's going to have, like, an MP5 or something, and he's just going to take a dump on me. Oh, but actually, maybe I'm going to take a dump on him. I don't know where this kid is, but I know he dropped over here. There you are, you little shit stain. Look at him. He's hiding. This kid's hiding over here behind this bench. Check this out. We're going to sneak up on this idiot. Ready? I, he's right behind the shack. I'm gonna sneak up and one tap his whole family. That's not his, that's not a person, that's a turret! <laughs> That was a dude. I swear to God, that was a player model a minute ago. Oh, I see a guy. Okay, you ready? Here we go, here we go. We're about to get this. Got him. The most important thing I think is just to not get tunnel vision and to just focus on like the people in front of or no, that is tunnel vision. I think the most important thing would be to just try and keep a nice steady scope on the whole map as opposed to just focusing on finding one person at a time. I think that's how most people win battle royale games. Okay, I'm about to get nae on, bro. No, 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 no. Miss me with that shit. Miss me with it. No! Is there a dude on me? Where you at? Oh, I see him. Got him, dumbass idiot. Went right near the thing, stupid ass boy. All right, it looks like I'm actually in the clear, so I'm gonna buy some ammo. I don't think that there's anybody near me, but now there is, oh shit. All right, I've only got five bullets, so I need to make sure that I get this ammo quickly. Oh shit, there's like hella people on me now. There's no way I'm gonna survive this. They're gonna see my drone, they're gonna come and kill me. This is not cool, man. Oh, I hear a commotion, I hear a commotion. Let's go, let's get it. You gotta remember, keep that scope, keep that steady scope. There are rifles in this game, I'm like 95% sure, so I could easily get like one tap with an AK from across the universe. There's a dude, come on, dude. Dude, where the fuck did he go? Got him. All right, here we go. I see a drone. I see a drone. We're gonna keep this going. I see two drones. Let's just rush him. Let's just rush him. I'm feeling confident, boys. I'm feeling confident. This guy's an idiot. He sucks. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's bad at this game. You're bad at this. Oh, he's over there. Shit. He's above me. Oh, my dude's gonna get the jump on me for sure. Never mind, bitch. <laughs> All right, here we go. Looks like we're they're, they're pretty far off of me right now. We're doing all right. Let's throw this flashbang. Let's get some attention out here. I'm feeling confident, baby. I'm feeling myself out here. Let's find this guy. I really want a victory. Like, I really... That would be a great conclusion to this nice video chronicle I've made for you guys today. Oh, there's dudes. There's definitely dudes. I hear them. I hear them. Come on, baby. I'm itching to kiss some guys right now. Come on. I'm, like, doubting myself, man. I'm unsure. I don't know, like, where to go. I have $2,500, though. Can I, like, lure somebody in? I see that drone. I see that drone. Oh, shit. That's my drone, dog. I don't know how to use that shit. Oh, I hear him. Definitely hear a guy. He could come from anywhere. 
Oh god, there's one left. Boys, I could get this dub right now. I could get this. I could get this. I need to heal. I got five bullets. I got five bullets. We gotta make this count. I bet you that kid has a crazy gun right now, though. I bet you anything. We're looking good. We're looking good. Ooh. Ooh. He's, he's calling in a drone. I can follow that. I can follow that. He's close. He's right here. He's gonna be opening that. You ready? Here we go. Jump up on the rock. Simba's pride, bitch! Yeah! <laughs> That was a little over the top. Oh, shit. He had a good gun, too, dude. He would have easily taken me out. He would have... Oh, my. He would have wrecked me. Check out this kill cam. We got this Call of Duty final kill cam out here. Oh, my God. Wow. This is my genuine first win. He looked down at the wrong time. I think that, honestly, that's probably the best way that this video could have ended. And I will say, I was not expecting that to be as satisfying as it was. I, I, I was very excited for that win, genuinely. I feel like I might be more down to play this game now that I got a victory. I feel like all I need to do is understand the mechanic. I'm totally kidding. No, I, I still don't like this game. <laughs> I think that overall, if you win, it's very satisfying, but I think it's satisfying for the wrong reasons. I feel like I, I was excited to win because of how the odds were stacked against me, I guess. I don't know. I, I... I think it's one of those games that you could possibly get good at, but I don't think it's one of the games that I want to put the time in to get good at. It's just not a game I care about that much. Anyways, I know this was a different type of video. Uh, my videos are going to probably be a lot more personal from now on just because I have this face cam, uh, and, and I feel like I'm talking more directly to you guys as opposed to just, you know, not playing a character because I'm, I'm pretty much the same person on and off camera. I, I don't know. I, it just, things are changing around here, boys. <laughs> now that I have a better, like, camera setup, I kind of just want to start uploading more and more of, of what I want and, you know, what I'm happy making. Making. I do like the Steam videos and I will still make them. They're just not going to be as often. So there is going to be some other content on the channel and I hope that you guys are accepting and uh, hopefully you like it. Also guys, now that I have a face cam, I feel like I can properly promote this. I am actually sponsored by DX Racer Chairs and I, I have been for a while. I just really didn't promote it very much. This is the actual chair that I have. This is the one I'm sitting in now. If you guys want to pick this up, you can use code DIDDLE on it. It will save you about $50 as well as you can use my code on any other things on the DX Racer website. If you guys could do that to support me, especially around the holidays. I would really appreciate it, but obviously it's not necessary. But if you are thinking about upgrading your chairs, it is probably a good way to go. They're, they're not paying me to say this or anything. It's just a code I've had for a while and I might as well promote it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, I really appreciate you spending a few minutes of your day with me. Have a great day, guys. Seriously, like it's almost Christmas and you know, Hanukkah just ended. Like whatever you guys celebrate, make sure you celebrate it this year. Celebrate it to the best of your ability and, and just be with your families and be happy, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Oh, you say